Shalom everybody, welcome to Rega Be'ivrit, what a special beautiful edition of Rega Be'ivrit we have for us today, we are in Parashat Itro. Now the interesting thing about Parashat Itro is where we read the story of the Aseret Adibot, the 10 words that God has given Israel later on in the chapter, in chapter 20. Now the question that you must ask yourself is, again, when we read a parasha, we always need to pay attention to the parasha name. Why would a parasha that is named after uh, such an important event like the Ten Commandments, the giving of the Ten Words, will be named after Itro, who was a Gentile? What can we learn about this and why this is so important? Because we are seeing something significant that taking place in the Torah portion before the Ten Commandments, the complete conversion of Itro into the house of Israel. Now, how this conversion take place? What can we learn about that? If the Ten Commandments represent the pinnacle of Jewish history, uh, a, a point where, where both Jew and a mixed multitude, or as we call them, Erev Rav, come and experience God, we know that there is going to be yet another Ten Commandments that will be giving another event similar to that where Jew and Gentile take place. Now, before this event take place, Itro representing a pinnacle of the Avodah Zarah, of the idol worship. He was a Kohen, he was a priest of Midian. He, he, it's important for us to understand that before the revelation of Mount Sinai takes place, the fullness of Itro have to be taking place. Now, the word in Hebrew, Itro, it comes from the word Yateret, Later. Yateret is mean the remnant. Did you know that the name Itro uh, related to uh, the word remnant? I believe that the name Itro, the, the picture of Itro converting and entering to the house of, of, of Israel, to the, to the tent of Moses, represents the fullness of the Gentiles that is to come right before the final and the complete redemption. Pay attention to this, this is amazing. At the beginning of the Torah portion, it says in verse 1 of chapter 18, midian. Choten Moshe et kol asher asa Elohim le Moshe ve le Israel amo. He heard everything that God has done to Moses and to the people of Israel. Now the interesting thing is he heard the word he heard it through the word va ishma. The word Ishma, Shmi'a, means that he have not necessarily have experienced it himself. He literally just heard the story. He heard it from another party, and that's become the testimony that, he, that, that took place. Now, later on in the story, I want you to notice something very important in verse 8. It says, when Moses see him, he says, Vayesaper Moshe lechotno et kol asher asa Adonai leparol le Mitzrayim al Adot Yisrael. It's not Shmi'a now, it's not Vayishma, it's used the word Vayesaper, Vayesaper. It is Moses who is giving now a personal detail account and testimony of what God has done. You see, he have heard it through the grapevine what God has done to, to others who told him. But in verse 8, it says, Vayesaper. The word lesaper in Hebrew, the word sipur, is an intimate story. It's in an intimate revelation. It is an in, intimate account that Moshe Rabbeinu is giving it to him. And it says here in the story, Vayichad itro et kol atova asher asa Adonai le Israel asher atzilo miyad mitzrayim. This is again very important language. He having now a moment that he understand that God is a living God because he received a personal testimony, a true and a personal account. And in verse ten, he says Baruch Adonai. He blessed the name of the God. This is the word of the day for all of us today, the word Baruch. The word Baruch means to bow down and to kneel. That's one way to understand the word Baruch. But the word Baruch also have another Im Im implication. It is the word to engraft, to take a branch that is 
dead and cut him and engraft him into another healthy, healthy tree. The language that is used here by Yitro is significant. Significant. He say, Baruch Adonai, graft me in to the same God of yours, Moses. This is an amazing testimony. He said, graft me in to you and to the Jewish people. And the rest of the story, as they say, is history. Now you understand why is it that Parashat Yitro is the parasha of the Ten Commandments. The remnant of the Gentiles coming into the house of Israel ultimately will usher the next Mount Sinai experience. Itro, the remnant. God bless you, and we hope you are blessed by this very special Rega Beivrit. Shalom. Mm-hmm.